Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are playing The Final Earth 2. This is a game I have played a lot of, um, but so we're going to be starting a new a new city, starting a new scenario. Uh, as you can see I have already played through uh, these three and I started that one and I have not yet played that one I don't believe. Um, but we're going to be starting a new beginning as you can see I already have a lot of, uh, lot of slots. Now, a uh, lot of save files. So, excellent. So, it's uh, 2142 and the Earth is a wasteland. Colonizing this tiny world is humanity's only hope. First, you'll need to build more materials. Let's build a woodcutting center. Production woodcutting center. Now, I do have a few rules for this run, which I will explain as they come up. Um, just to make it a bit more interesting. Good job. Now click some wood and build a stone mine. So you would here. Excellent. You have enough wood. Let's build a stone mine. Puzzle tells us where to build it, so we'll build it there. Well done. Now, right now, er, nobody. Oh my god, right now, nobody is going to get the stone, as everybody already has a job at the woodcutting centre. Let's reassign some of those workers. That's residence. Excellent. Now let's get there six, six wood and four stone. Well then I might have to lower that down. You used, uh, you used a spaceship to get here. Some of your friends are still on it. You want to give them a nice place to live. A steady food supply would be nice too. To accomplish these goals, let's build a house and an indoor farm. Please note that buildings can be stacked. Tip if you ever forgot to do, just hover over the question mark here. Build a house and an indoor farm. Build... We'll build the farms over here. Just need more wood. Uh, not wood. The other one. Stone. Good job. Now, some people will be arriving soon. It could be helpful to learn more about this world. In particular, the alien ruins look quite interesting. Let's build an exploration center to learn all about them and maybe get some useful resources too. I always uh, put the indoor farms and all the food stuff to the maximum priority, just uh, because I want to make sure that we never run out of food, because I always find that's always a problem in my playthroughs, not having enough food. Obviously for parts like this where you're just waiting around waiting to get more materials I will uh, always skip them just because I don't think anybody cares to sit through watching me just wait. New people will now start arriving regularly. Make sure to keep them fed and housed. Also children can be born from now on so you can build a school if you, for them if you want. To build up your city you need not stone so let's build one more stone mine. Uh, stone mine, there we go. Your stone miners are currently working with low quality mining equipment. Better pickaxes would improve the mining speed. Upgrade at least one of your stone mines. Do so. Click the stone mine. Better upgrade. Pick a, uh, better pickaxes upgrade. Now. Let's. Now I always make sure that at least one person is working in each job. Now that you've got a pretty good economy. It. It can't. Economy, it's, it's time to focus your citizens' well-being for a bit. Not that there's no economic advantage to that at all. As citizens, as happy citizens, work better, work faster. To make sure, to to make them more happy, let's build a pub. Also, let's make sure you have at least ten food. I'd say start by building a school before we build a pub. Now, build a school. Now we need to wait for, uh, yeah. 12 wood so we can build a pub and then I'll also try building it. I'll also build a nice park afterwards Great job. Make sure there's actually some someone working at the pub. We won't have any effect. So you need machines to build a machines, pack, fact, machines part factory and construct them So yeah, I always make sure there's at least one person working in each thing I don't need six workers there stone. Uh, what I'm going to do... Oh, we had enough now. Okay, excellent. Machine starts... The machine parts factory uses a lot of stone, so make sure you have enough. If you need stone for something else, just switch it off for a while. It's always nice to see happy faces, isn't it? Let's make sure the happiness in city is at least 52. Just click on the happiness button if you'd like to see which areas could use improvement. 
Now we have the modern rustic home. This rustic looking house makes people think of Earth. The housing quali quant quality is increased by 15 if there are at least three other modern rustic homes or parks next to it. Now. So that is 70 happiness, that is 50. But this, so the first rule is that I must always prioritize happiness over space. So if that means having 100 of these rather than 50 of these, so be it. Now, I am going to... Let's see. So what does it want for me now? Happiness to above 52. There is zero medical happiness. So we should build... Well, we can't at the moment. Nightclub. Experimental farm. So these unique buildings are, one, are buildings you can only build once each. There's at least three machine part factories to unlock. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Ah, the amount of stone in this plant is quite limited. Fortunately, you've just thought of a way to solve the problem. A rock teleporter can teleport mineable rocks from elsewhere. Let's research and build one. You may want to build some labs to get more knowledge. Excellent. So once we have ten machine parts, we'll build a lab and then a rock teleporter afterwards. We'll place it right there. Oh, and there is people who need a house. Oh, we have no food. Let's build more. Indoor farms. This game is constantly, yeah, I get it. This game is constantly, is this due to the lack of food? Yeah. Yeah, because it was at 51. Food shortage and happiness 51. Yeah, okay, so this game is just constantly seeing what are these materials do I need more of, what do I have too much of, and adjusting. Stone is always one you're gonna need more of because you just, you never have enough stone for whatever you need them for. There he is, it'll work a little faster at least. Because uh, this uses stone, this uses, uh, hold on machine parts yeah sorry this uses stone this uses machine parts and I believe the computer chips use refined metals yeah used to create smart machines yeah I, I believe they use refined metals um, so you just constantly need more stone no matter what you do I'm thinking about it now, and I think rather than saying oh, I'll prioritize happiness above um, space in housing, I might actually do it the other way around, just because I think it, it actually would be more of a challenge to make sure people's happiness is high enough, because if it's if I prioritize space or happiness, that just means I'm going to just keep building up forever and ever, and I'm never going to stop going up so which I think would be more I think it'd be a more interesting challenge to have to balance bad housing quality or lower housing quality at least with everything else so I think I think I will do that now this will brings us to our second rule you see here we can destroy a building but until we get a certain building and upgrade it we're not allowed to do that because if we destroy this building now we won't get anything back. What is this? Build a rock teleporter. Yep. We won't get anything back from that, which is not what we want. However, if we upgrade the city hall, I, be I believe it's a city hall, to the maximum, then it'll give us back 90% uh, of the materials we spend, which is significantly more than 0%. We have a lab now, so that's good, and I'll make sure somebody is working in that. Mm -hmm. 
So, that'll help us gather more knowledge, because we can only get a certain amount of knowledge from the alien runes. And once we have enough knowledge, I think we almost have enough already anyway. Yeah, we need 75 knowledge to research that. I keep, for I keep forgetting to build a rock teleporter, that's our goal. Build more houses. I would usually like to build a few at a time to give us a, a little surplus of housing at least. I don't believe we'll get the city hall in this uh, section because as you saw beforehand there are multiple layers to it and I think the city hall doesn't come up in this part. I think it only comes up later. So for the moment every building we place will have to stay. And that just makes that just makes it so that I have to think a bit more about what I'm doing with each building before I place it. And where I place everything. We have, okay, we have... I don't think we have enough wood, though. Yeah, we need 30 wood. We'll build another one of those, and another one of those. Maybe two more of those, just so that they're... Well, they're not even, because you have much more... A lot more workers per building uh, of this. I think you have six stone workers, uh, workers per stone mine, but only four per woodcutting center. And we've unlocked the alien house. Five people could live in this strange home full of otherworldly technology, and it costs food instead of stone. So that'll be uh, useful. So that's what we'll be using now instead of these, instead of the modern rustic home or the house. Because these have five capacity each. That also means that as long as we have food, and a small bit of wood, we can we can build more houses. Excellent, we can now build a rock teleporter, which we'll place right there. Well done, you've now, you, you, you'll never run out of stone now. Keep your stone mines, as you'll need those workers to mine the meteoroids. Your population has grown quickly, and this world is quite small. It's probably a good idea to look for other worlds to colonize, so let's build an observatory. I think I'm gonna skip these two for the moment. Um, just because we don't we don't really need them because we'll be leaving soon. I think once we build the observatory, I think then we're able, allowed to move on to the next task. So again, I'll just wait until we have the 30, 40, and 75, and then I'll be back to you in a, just a second. Now, an observatory. Great job, scenario complete. Great job, your scientists will look for other worlds to colonize. You can play the next scenario and see what they'll find. If you'd like to continue improving the city, you can always go to the next scenario later from the menu. Either way, you can always return to this city later. Excellent. Now, I think because of that, I know I meant minus two housing, but I think because of that, we're gonna leave it here for today. Uh, you can join me next, vi next video, uh, maybe in two or three weeks, when we will continue the next uh, can you use the next scenario? Now the next one is a bit longer than this, so uh, the video will probably be split up into at least two videos, uh, possibly more, because the scenarios do get longer as they go along, and I don't want you to all just be sitting here watching me cut out hours of just uh, waiting for stuff to fill up. So yes, uh, like they'll turn into three hour videos, which don't think anyone wants to see anyone play uh, the final Earth 2 for three hours straight. At least not just doing the same thing over and over again. So yes, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye! Oh, they actually do give you an 11th slot.